I am going to explain Coulomb's law. So, what is Coulomb's law? If there are two charged particles, Q1 and another is Q2, then there will be a force along the joining line. So, this force proportional to the charge of the two particle or mal that is q1 q2 q1 is the charge of one particle one charge of particle q2 is the another charge particle so q1 q2 is the multiplication of the charges so here yeah, proportional to the multiplication of the discharges and this is proportional to inversely proportional to r square that is you r be the distance between two charge particle and if we take this both two equation 1 and 2 in a single equation we get q1 q2 by r square so if we take a constant proportional constant in si we take 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square so if we take, take the medium as air then epsilon we have to take epsilon if the medium is replaced with a medium of epsilon that is the force always equals to q1 q2 by 4 pi epsilon r square so obviously this is the magnitude only if we but force is a vector quantity so finally coulomb force equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught in air q1 q2 by r square so we are interested in unit vector 2 1 or 1 2 so it is important uh, difference between r 1 2 or r 2 1 there will be a difference what is this r 1 r 2 1 indicates r 2 1 means the direction direction unit vector pointing from q2 to q1 to 1 so in first 2 so this indicates the direction of r to 1 another is r12 so r12 means direction is along this direction so when we are interested the force exerted on q1 due to q2 this will be repulsive along this direction so f12 equals to fr21 so f12 means force on q1 due to charge q2 equals to this and direct along q2 to q1 so when when we are interested the force on q2 for q1 or due to q1 this equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square r 1 2 unit vector that is from the 1 to 2 so this is the basic coulomb's law so in free space there will be epsilon naught and remind it in another medium this is epsilon